Today was to have been the last day of legislative session at the State House, but just a short time ago, the governor announced that he is calling a special session so lawmakers can pass key pieces of legislation that haven't been finished. But before he does, those lawmakers spent the day rushing to address key bills one that they wanted to pass. Our Sam Perez joins us now from the State House where she's been all day keeping track of what lawmakers are saying. Sam, what were some of the key topics today? Yes, Darcy, JR, abortion, boating safety, and fentanyl trafficking were all topics that lawmakers wanted to address today. Some items were discussed at length while others moved quickly. But even though today was supposed to be the final day of the session, lawmakers will return next week to deal with unfinished business. Well, quite frankly, I found it interesting that at the 11th hour and 59th minute, the House leadership wants to take up abortion. It's an issue that will be debated on Tuesday when lawmakers return for their special session. And Representative Gilda Cobb Hunter, who's opposed to new abortion bans, was part of an effort to try and extend debate on the bill with thousands of amendments in an effort to defeat it. But the House majority voted to invoke what's known as cloture, which caps the amount of debate on an issue. This means lawmakers will have just three minutes to speak for or against the amended version of the Senate's six-week abortion ban. Something this important, obviously, because they keep talking about it. One would think that you would give more than three minutes for these kinds of conversations. But Representative John McCravey, who supports a ban on abortion, says the time limit is warranted on a bill that's been debated at length, with over 1,000 amendments presented earlier this week. People know how they're going to vote. So, uh, and, and with that many amendments, everybody will have the opportunity to say anything they want to. You can talk on the bill. So it's not going to really stop uh, people talking on the bill and being able to debate the bill. Representative Heather Bauer orchestrated the five female Democratic legislators who carried the printed amendments into the House chambers, which has gotten attention on social media. I definitely did not expect it to go viral, but I knew that it was going to send a very clear message, a very powerful message that we are united. Um, the Democratic women in particular are united and our caucus is united to, to fight against this extreme abortion ban. McCravey, however, says he hopes the legislative bodies can find a middle ground. You know, we've had some negotiations. That's not a secret. And I think that the Senate is going to agree on this language. And, and we're very optimistic that we can get something passed. In addition to abortion, lawmakers also debated boating safety, which would require boaters to get a boating safety certificate from the Department of Natural Resources, which would implement different requirements. In the Senate side, Senator Brad Hutto tried to criminalize repeat firearm offender, offenders and trafficking of fentanyl. Ultimately, the Senate moved the fentanyl trafficking bill forward without the firearms provision, but that could still change. Reporting at the State House, Sam Perez, News 19 WLTX.